Oh, oh, darn. Do you like anything? Chips. Aaron. I want to be in the middle. They're going to the movie theater with friends. Out here in Algoma with Brad and Xander for our annual trip. We've had a relatively easy haul in, but conditions are incredibly mild, so there's quite a meltdown happening here. And as we've got to the lake, we're realizing it's uh, pretty soupy, so hopefully we'll still be able to fish. This is a stocked lake, it has brook trout, which in my experience just adds to the insult of getting skunked. So we'll see if that actually amounts to anything, but we'll give it a shot. We have so much food. So much food. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just Brad's meals. This is 20 pounds of food. <laughs> Look at the size of those. Oh my god, these are so good. So Brad's stomping down a tent pad and a trail on the lake. Xander's getting the tent up, me on firewood. Got two hours of daylight left. You know, there's such ridiculously big poles, eh? It's, it's beefy. The biggest then, tent poles I've ever seen. Those, these things up. Imagine the eight man. Yeah, you put these in, eh? Yeah, I'm trying to set it up this like different way now. Um, I saw some guy online do it, but he had the he had the tent stakes in, so this it might make a huge difference. No, he's already got it out. Do the other red pole. I love this. <laughs> Sound of ducks. <laughs> it's just it's it's like now home, right? Once well, you get the fire going, it's yeah. Does have any minnows? I didn't bring any live bait. I don't care so much. <laughs> we okay for burnage? Yeah, yeah. I could start to smell it, but it's just on the tiny little bit of the corner, so. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> um. Brad's calzones. Delicious. Enormous. It's like, it's like a child. It's the size of a child. <laughs> Wow, oh, it's hard to stop eating once you get into it. Mm-hmm. It is tasty. It started to come down pretty good. Xander got his tarp up. And it is quite pleasant under here now. Well, guys, we're in the woods. Yep, the big woods. The big, scary woods. Big, scary woods. I hear a Sasquatch out there. How was the moon? It's so cloudy well, uh, and rainy. What was the name of the planet that smoked Earth to create the moon? Theta or something? Planet? Yeah. That was another planet. Oh, really? I like it was a meteor or something. No, it was like no. a proto-planet or yeah. something. Smoked into Earth. Hmm. Way early in its life. It ejected a big chunk of rock and it swirled around and became the moon. Hmm. But yeah, tomorrow, hopefully we catch fish. Mm -hmm. I'd be, um... Just, just one. Yeah. You know? Yeah, one each. How far down did you get line? <laughs> what? How far down was it? It's like 20 feet. John was afraid of me ruining his blade. <laughs> so he's like, don't go further out. Keep going out. If it oh, hits rock, fish. we literally can't drill any Why? more holes. I, oh, yeah? yeah. Yo, if you've never done it, they're absolutely useless as soon as you scuff them. I've had, I've had, I have one of those. Time for Betty Buys. We're so full of calzones. So, so full. And it's very mild, so it's going to be a good sleep. And tomorrow, hopefully broke trout, but probably not. You guys are dickheads. <laughs> you look like Batman right now, dude. Batman? Yeah. Why? Because it's like over your nose and your mouth is exposed. You look like the Batman mask. I am Batman. There you go. Yeah. There's that oh, that happens. kettle is tilting. Made up some BLTs for breakfast and chilled around the fire. It's much too late. It's noon already, but we're going to hit the water, see what we can accomplish this afternoon. Beautiful day now. Sunshine.
It is one sloppy mess out here on the ice. Thick layer of slush and water. Hopefully we've got rain boots. Guys are over there on a point. I'm on the point just across the bay. Start there. Got the historical bathymetry for this lake here. Maxes out around this 70 foot basin. We're over here. And I generally like to fish pretty shallow, so start there, go deep if we have to. So this lake is pretty lightly stocked with brook trout. It's got 300 like six years ago, 300 four years ago, and 300 two years ago, which is actually not that many because the mortality rate's kind of high. So a lot of them just die off or people keep a lot of them, right? Because it's a stock lake. So probably aren't actually that many in here. Brought the underwater camera, so I'll send that down. So I just got a bite and I saw the fish on the camera. Didn't look big, but that sure lifts the spirits. What a tease. Where'd he go? The spear? Yeah. Away from me. Might be on you guys now. Are you fishing shallow or deeper? Shallow. I'm just like fishing right beneath the hole basically. On to hole number four here. The narrows. I don't know, just gotta keep trying different spots. Keep it. That's a nice, nice fish, John. It's a nice heater. Beautiful. Let's eat it. Eat it? Yeah. yeah. Just caught a beautiful brook trout. And a gorgeous fish. So, we'll be eating that tonight. Thank you so much. Dispatched it with a club right away. So beautiful. Oh. Fish came on this. Bucktail jig. Did though, but like, I don't know. Five bucks a second though. It's always so funny how much that one bite changes the vibe. I know. Suddenly everyone's working their holes way whole harder. They were barely paying attention before. I'm out catching, looking for tea and giving <laughs> yeah. up on fishing. Yeah. So John caught a gorgeous trout. None of us were really paying attention to fishing at all. And we were getting pretty bored. The hole and just caught it. So we're all fired up. We're gonna spend a little longer here, but that fish alone will be a nice, nice portion of dinner for us if that's all we end up getting. But we're all excited now, so do a little more fishing here. So with the fish in the bag that'll feed us along with some other stuff, we decide to call it quits. We put in a good like four hours or so, so we're ready to sit down, have fire, and have some amazing food. Stick the head off in the guts, put it in three fish steaks, 
Should be a wonderful portion, along with uh, some loaded potatoes. Yo, I didn't take a shot of that. It looks gorgeous, that meat. I got time to... Dude, what the hell? Oh, I didn't know I had these. Oh my god, thank you. Wow. Got boy? Yeah, the beautiful sky. Yeah. What a day. Yeah, I've, I've seen but... Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, those are big potatoes. Yeah. Some big taters. What do we got to put in them? Um, cheese. Sour cream there. A lot of green onions. Oh, yes. Like, we can we, just load them up. We love our green onion. And then uh, I brought bacon. I was supposed oh, to yeah. cook it at home, but we could cook this out here. But we got the fish now. Yeah, so. this is good. <laughs> okay, no. Nope. Making some wintergreen and white pine needle tea. First up, we got a dollop of maple syrup for everyone. So I got some wintergreen berries here. I really find that when you put the berries uh, steeping in the tea, it, the flavor is just way better. You can always tell when it's like fully steep when the berries go white. So they start off red and when they go white, you've got that maximum flavor in here. A lot of these white pine needles too. Now these needles are loaded in vitamin C. When you don't get enough vitamin C, you get scurvy. Not something you want out in the back country. And then these are winter green leaves. They got a nice winter coloration here, a little darker purple. But yeah, make some tea. Uh, I mean, do you guys want it? You don't want to dry out? Nah. I... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's steep long enough, but you know what? Ah, it's too hot for the little flavors, good. Yeah. I'm not picky. <laughs> Killer bot four, five, seven. You guys had too much sugar. Ah, that is real good. Good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. This guy looks like it's in an inferno. Yeah, those <laughs> th those are flames. Man. Yeah, yeah the grill is a good idea, actually. I don't know. Usually, I put them down in the coals, and they cook pretty well. Hot. That's so good. You done did good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ah. Thank you. No problem. What a scene! What a day! Hot beverage, warm our souls. Fish ready to go. Potatoes on the fire. So great, and it, it was only snow today, it didn't rain. Surprise. Yeah, I gotta say this has to be probably the best trip that the three of us have done together out of the three in the years winter. now. In the winter? Yeah. In the winter, for sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah by far. Trip, by yeah. far. Yeah. yeah, last year's one was kind of goofy, wasn't it? Yeah. The food thing was fun, mm -hmm. but where we kept was a little bit like, just like a little fog. Yeah. Salmon spice. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough people. I think the temperature of the potato will probably do the work. You just kind of melt the food, right? Yeah. Oh, lost the skin. What did you try first? I did it all at once. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Take a piece of fish first because it's yeah. special. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Mmm. Wow. That's a good potato. And like, you know what? It goes well with the brook trout. Like, it's a perfect yeah. pairing. Mm-hmm. There's like a nice fancy dinner from the keg here. <laughs> Fantastic. Like, I think one of our best days out here. For sure. Yeah. Right, could very well be one of our best days. It's just like it's just a long thing, and then you just make a like a European death knot at the top, and you clip in your like your uh, beaner, and then come around. And it's a European death knot. There's a bunch of different. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> he just made that up. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, with a Scandinavian swiffle snap. Well, it's quarter after eleven, and that was a very successful day. Much to all of our surprise, we actually got a fish here and yeah we're very satisfied but tired we stayed up till midnight chatting last night and i'm sure it's gonna be the same tonight so time to start turning off the lights and get some shut eye oh that's
that feels so good. a.m. still nice and mild just a few degrees below freezing boys are still sleeping I had to wake them up yesterday or we never would have got anything getting the coffee on and we've got these steeped bags of coffee from Aaron's mom They're very good kind of a nice way to do it out here Was yapping already. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, son. Good morning. Hey, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Who wastes daylight on winter camping? Oh, let the Dutch touch. <laughs> the Dutch touch. <laughs> oh, um, your dream? Water's boiled. There, that's the move, John. Whoopsie. Oh. Oh. That's the best news of the morning, man. Get the water's boiled? Yeah. Just care, take care of my boys. You, you know yourself. I do. John, like... You know I do. Oh, I was real nice sleeping in, though. Oh, I agree. No 8 a.m. wake up. No. <laughs> what time is it? I don't know what time it is. Uh, 10 to 9. Oh, that's... Ow. Good. Camera's out, boys. The Here it is. Are La piste de la resistance. Yes. Sausage and cheese That's pastries. Me, man. Yeah. Look at those things. Ugh. John, we're saying how good of a I'll just start with two. Two? Since I already had one. <laughs> I'll start with two, too, because I'm not going to carry one at home. Two is good. Okay, I'll load these up. Yeah, syrup me up. Syrup me up. Oh my god. Yeah, here, have a little more. Oh my god. Here's syrupy boy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese sausage, bacon, and phyllo pastry, boys. <laughs> oh mm. my god, it's so good. <laughs> mm. It's probably like the most calorically dense meal you could eat out here. Oh yeah, for winter. You've done it again, Bradley. <laughs> He's eating it like a corn on the cob. That's awesome. Oh wow. Brad. Bradley. Brad. Brad. Bradley. Brad. Brad's wrapping up his trip as usual by sticking cameras in our faces and expecting us to say something intelligent, which I usually fail to do. But another great trip with the this trio. It's a pleasure to be a part of it. And amazing food. We finally got a fish and our best winter camp yet. Really nice one. Fantastic weather. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go. All right, John. Tell me how you felt about the third annual Twisted Boys trip. Best trip yet in the winter. And we got our fish at last. Beautiful weather, nice camp. Yeah, it was a perfect trip. Le conversations late into the night. Sleepover, adult style. Any final closing thoughts, words of wisdoms you want to share with, with the folks out there in YouTube land? I'm sorry I couldn't teach you guys to fish. I failed. You did fail us, actually. I'm really sorry. That's okay. We'll do it on the fourth year. Closing thoughts, gentlemen. John's an idiot and doesn't know how to use a camera. <laughs> Stupid. This is take John. two. I was not filming because my beeps were off out of respect for the group. Yeah, fantastic trip. I mean, third time coming out here with you boys. It's always, always a blast. Like, uh, like I said, 
We don't have to go too far. We don't have to push ourselves. We don't have to do something extreme. It's just nice hanging out, you know, with good company, like-minded folks in a gorgeous setting. As always, the trip was a success, like short little hike in and, you know, caught some fish, which was a super highlight for us. I mean, we didn't at catch last. it, but yeah, but at as last. a group, we got to eat one. Yeah, <laughs> finally. Mm. Like we've tried ice fishing yeah. every trip. Oh, no, not last year. Yeah, we were on a swamp. You're right. Last year we didn't try and it. And the previous year, not too much of an effort, but yeah, anyway. Still, it's nice, it's nice to catch the fish. Like mm. it energized Skunks. us. And... The monkey's off our back. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Floodgates are open. Next year we'll white, all catch a lunker. Yeah, or just our whitewater trip this spring. That's true. Make it happen. Yeah, I we'll want to catch some, some brookies then. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, no, solid trip. Great food, great company, great time. Mm. Any, yeah, good. good. All right. Gotta get that range out. Full of calzones. Uh. <laughs> the eye of Sauron was upon me. <laughs> oh, it's hard to stop eating once you get into it. Mm -hmm. It is tasty. Sleepo? Yeah, pretty good. Too. Brad, Salt. do you have any of that tasty lemonade beverage? Cool, I'm sure. That's <laughs> unacceptable behavior. Shut up, you guys all dare me. Wow. Call yourself an example to children? No, I bet. Isn't your audience 13 years old? Mm -hmm.